What's good with y'all, man? So guys, listen, we're gonna talk about something crucial here, man. The number one killer of your game with women. All right, now, when I say game, guys, I'm just talking about across the board, the initial thing that you need to make sure is on point regardless. Like, yeah, I don't care if you swap a mente himself. Everybody got a bad day every now and again, right? But if you're missing this thing, it's it like you, you can't even get the ball rolling if you don't have this. With that said, y'all follow me on IG, check the links in the description box, turn on notifications, bro. Let's get into this, guys. The number one killer of your game with women, y'all, is your confidence. All right, it is your confidence, but listen, listen, hold up. I'm finna break this down on all kinds of different angles, right? I'm gonna hit it from all kinds of angles, ladies. Real talk though, guys. You gotta be sure of yourself. Now, like we just gonna lead off with this real quick. You gotta be sure of yourself because it's not just confidence when you're talking, when you're speaking to girls, when you're speaking to women. It also goes into your body language, fellas, right? How are you standing, your posture? Like there are a lot of things that women look at when it comes to observing men and who they think, right, is attractive to them, who they think can get their box tonight. Yeah, and it's all, it was, the crazy thing is guys, and y'all gotta understand first impressions, especially with women, very important. First impressions are everything. And chances are really within a few seconds, even less than that, milliseconds, right? They already know whether or not you have the ability to smash, whether you have the ability to get inside her guts, her walls, all that stuff. Within the first few seconds of meeting a girl, they inherently know. So what it becomes then is, are you gonna screw this up, right? Or are you gonna seal the deal? You know what I'm saying? First step, guys, is your confidence. Guys, I be talking to some fellas, right? I be talking to some guys, coaching them through their situations or whatever the case is, or even seeing guys in person that come up to me and they're like, oh, MJ, you know, this and this, yo, what's up with this? How should I handle this? And I'm like, cool. But every now and again, I encounter a guy, right? And I'm just hearing him talk, bro. And I'm just like, bro, like, you sound down. Or if I'm like on Skype with somebody, I'm like, bro, like, like you're not even like sure. You're, like, you don't even sound sure yourself when you're talking to me. And I'm here to help you, bro. I'm here to help you. And you sound like you just, you know, really just down. And, and I'm like, bro, you cannot, like, if you're talking to females like this, then then no wonder, right? No wonder you might be striking out. No wonder you might have be, you know, a dry spell or something. No wonder no girl wants to hit you back or something. Guys, even when you're talking to a chick on the phone, like something that I do is I always make sure that I'm like, you know, kind of upbeat, not like super excited to talk to the girl. Like, hey, how are you doing? No, not no lame ish like that. You know what I'm saying? But it's like I present the energy through my verbal communication when I'm on the phone, like, baby, like, hey, my energy at an all time high. You need to be over here with this kind of energy with me. Right. You missing out because you ain't over here with me. That's how I'm communicating my energy through the, even when I'm talking to a chick, right? Even when I'm talking to a chick. So that entices them more to like, like they're, they're excited to be like, okay, well, I need to be where he's at, right? If you sound down, like, like you, hey, how you doing? But like, if she don't even know you like that, she's just going to think you're a down guy or something, or, or maybe it's the fact that you have no confidence, period. She's going to think that, hey, he's not sure of himself. I don't want to be around a guy that's not sure of himself, right? And it's like, bro, you talking to me and some of you guys don't even sound, you know, confident in who you are. Now, I do got a video separate I'm going to put at the end about that, right? Building your confidence and stuff, but, but key in on this, guys, because we still got some things to cover, right? Watch this whole thing because we're still dropping bombs, all right? Guys, realize something too. Realize something. I know that some of you guys put pressure on yourselves, right? You put pressure on yourselves. I still see guys out here, you know, you if you're approaching girls, you at the stage of approaching women or, or maybe you don't approach women or whatever the case is, whoever it is. If you approach a girl, right? Some of y'all put unnecessary pressure on yourselves to do so. Like it's some freaking final boss in the game. I'm like, bro, chill, bro, chill. I remember just being younger, like in high school and, you know, college and stuff. And it, it was like, that was how it was fun. Like it was kind of a game. I saw it as fun, like approaching a chick, right? What really going to kill your game is you approaching every chick in the vicinity. So every girl sees you get denied by every other girl. That's not a good look, right? So definitely don't do that. That shakes your confidence down all the way to the ground. If you're not sure of yourself, you feel me? 
So don't be like that, but definitely don't put no unnecessary pressure on yourself, bro. When it comes to approaching a chick, like you, you inherently already putting this girl on a pedestal. Oh, I'm finna approach a piece of box. I don't know if I could really, huh, hopefully, let me make sure my breath's, oh, put a minute in my breath don't stink. All right, cool. Let me go in there. All right, time to go. Like, bro, you're getting, like, you're getting warmed up for a damn workout or something, bro. This is not that serious. Y'all putting pressure like you, like you really finna, like, like, it's not life or death. It's not an important situation like that. Stop putting so much pressure on yourself. That's what's really reducing y'all confidence because y'all feel like stepping up. You see an attractive chick and you like, bro, I'm going to do this, right? Just go up there, grab your nuts, right? First off, grab your nuts. Realize you a man, bro. You're a man. You just talking to a chick, bro. It's, it's literally just a woman. It's the opposite gender. That's it. I might be able to get some box. Maybe not. That's simple, right? You're not. Your whole world isn't going to fall apart if you get rejected. It's all right. All right. Now, something else that's important, guys, that a lot of guys don't realize, bro, the guys that you around, right? I just mentioned, you know, some guys would be, you know, you'd be in a group and, and you, oh, let's approach these girls. And I don't like people like that. Right. I've never liked people like that because it's like it, it takes the fun out of it to me. Right. When I was younger, it took the fun out of it because it's like it's like a it's like a competition between it's like, bro, I'm not in competition with none of y'all. None of y'all dudes. We're not in competition. I'm gonna do what the hell I wanna do, right? I just seen something recently, like I was out and uh, and it, it's crazy because they weren't even that young. They were like, probably like my age, like we're in our 20s, we're in our older 20s, bro. And he's with the group and I pull up and they're like, oh, let's get a drink, bro. Hey, and then one dude comes up, he's like, oh, he just got shot down by his chick. <laughs> and they just start laughing at him and all this stuff. And he's like, man, whatever, like I didn't even, it's like, bro, like, why why would you even care that much like at that point we too old like i can understand if we was like in our early 20s or teens or something and it was joking around but who cares bro who the hell cares if you got guys in your group and you outside and they pressuring you to be like like this outside pressure too right that's what kills your game too guys trying to force you into talking to a random chick Oh, go talk to her, bro. Prove that you can prove that you have game. And you don't got to prove nothing to nobody. Any like if you got if you surround yourself with people like that, bro, cut them off. Cut them. Do not go out with them or just tell them no, bro. Shut up. Mind your business. Stay in your own lane, bro. Stay in your own lane. Right. Any guy trying to pressure you. And that's such a childish thing. That's 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 young dude stuff, bro. And that's PG right there. I'm keeping the PG for you, too. Right. That's really young dude stuff. You know what I'm saying? Bruh, if you feel like stepping down on the chick, that's the end of the story. Then you do it at the right time. Let her send a, let her send a signal first. You let these dudes peer pressure you into just going up to any random girl and you just like, oh, I'm going to try, I'm going to try, I'm going to try, I'm going to try. You're not even like doing it for you then. You're not even doing it for you. So so how can you really come at it with confidence? That's fake confidence. You might be going, oh, I'm going to get her number, dog. <laughs> Like, come, like, how old are we, bro? Like, like, are you still a child or are you a grown man, bro? Do it if you want to do it. And I'm just looking at dude, like, bro, like, you really hang around these guys? You really hang around these guys that'll sit here and just laugh at you? Like, he was a good dude. He was a good dude. He wasn't, like, a punk. He wasn't new to the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, he wasn't allergic to pussy. Like, bro, he's not a scared dude to go up and talk to a chick. But it's like, bro, if, if your group of friends is sitting here putting that negativity on you, there's, like, it, it makes it harder to really come out with some generic confidence to approach the chick that kills your game when you got immature dudes around you, right? It, it really kills your game. That's an important thing because it's like hella guys be talking to me about, well, the people that I'm with, like they're not at the level that I'm at when it comes to like, it'd be maturity wise, it'd be like maybe even game wise, just talking to chicks. They're just not in that range. Then I'm like, bro, that's why I'm out here solo. Like that's why I like to do my own thing Right. If I know, like it's few guys out there is you meet few people that really is on the same level as you. But I'm pulling up solo. I'm pulling up like, hey, like I'm going to have fun. Enjoy it. Go at my own pace. Right. Enjoy yourself. Go at your own pace. Do what the hell you want to do. If you see other people out there, you all cool. and stuff. It might be a tag team. You see two chicks. Both of y'all got the game plan. Right. You come up with confidence. Y'all not rushing nothing. See, that's cool. That's cool. Not to say that you need a wingman. I I don't need no damn wingman. I do whatever I want to do, right? 
And you should have that kind of energy, bro. That that gives you that solidified confidence. That gives you the thing where it's like, you know, my game is going to be what I decided to be, right? And you just that that way you don't have pressure, right? You're not concerned with the the approaching the chick or the, a chick approaching you just talking to a girl. You're not concerned with dudes pressuring you to do this and do that. Bro, you just do what you want to do. You go at your own pace. That's freedom right there, right? And what you're going to find is typically that's when things will start falling into place, right? You'll get more numbers. Chicks actually hit you back, right? Follow through with you. And you just cool about it. You smooth about it. Like, you don't got to be extra and, you know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, I hope I say the right things to the girl. Like, bro, a lot of y'all put way too much pressure on this stuff. Look good, right? Definitely take the opportunity to dress yourself up the way that you want to be dressed up. Feel good about yourself right? A fresh cut will go a long way. Those are superficial things though. You still got to maintain yourself on the inside, right? So that pressure and stuff, that's going to kill your game from the inside, from your core. You can't have that kind of stuff going on. If you got that stuff going on, you got dudes over here putting that pressure on you. Now you feel bad on the inside too. Now you're like, oh, my confidence, my self-confidence is lowering. Not like, bro, you need to get rid of them people. You need to toughen up, cut them people off, right? And move how you want to move, period. They shouldn't really affect you at all. But I know it's stages to this. Every guy ain't at that level. So, hey, do what you do. Do what you got to do. Do what you must to keep your confidence at an all-time high. Never let anybody come in between that. Mm -hmm.